Well, hello everybody and hello, welcome. Hello everyone. We are at another Auto Trail Rallies. We're in, where are we? Coventry. Coventry. And we've just got back from taking Pip for a walk on the Heath, which is we're just there. 200 <laughs> yards away. There, yeah. we're, um, we're so excuse me. Pinley Rugby Club. Yeah, that's it, um, Pinley Rugby Club. And, those, and at the back of it, there's a lovely heath. Summer summer Meadow, it's called. Yeah, is it? Yeah, something yeah. like that. And, it is, and it's back, called Summer Meadow. Yeah. Yeah, there's sort of a wild, mm. a wild sort mm. of garden, nature reserve place. It's really, really lovely. So straight off her lead. And yeah. the only water we saw was a little brook. So we're, And we're nowhere near the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called, it is actually called a river. Oh, a river. I don't know, okay. it's a tiny river about that big. Anyway. So that's very um, nice. It's lovely. It's so pretty. Hmm. Mm. We've had some questions. Um, well, all of these questions come from Alexander. Thanks yes. very much, yes. Alexander. Mm. So these are really great questions. And I have answered back in the comments. Mm. Um, but, I, the, well, first of all, the questions. How often do you fill up the water with fresh water? How often do you have to empty the waste tank? And how often do you have to empty the toilet cassette? Um, then, some other questions. Are you missing the microwave, the electric kettle, and the hairdryer? Well, let, let's, let's just go for the electric bits first. Mm. Are we missing the hairdryer? No. Because we didn't have one. No, I, <laughs> I, uh, one. I put too much colour on my hair and I, I didn't, don't use a hair and you never use one, so... I used to use a hair dryer mm. a, well, quite, quite a while ago. When you were gay you did, didn't you? When I was a bit gay. No, a bit gay. When your hairstyle was a bit gay you used to blow dry it. Blow dry No, you won't really. It was, that's the wrong thing to say. But um, I think men did in the 80s, they used to blow dry their no, hair. No, not then. Oh, not in the 80s. Oh. When did you do it then? <laughs> when, we, when we lived in Brighton. Oh. I'd, yeah, it's like... Um, I did, did I you? needed... Yeah, my hair was like really weirdy and I needed to, mm. to, I needed to dry it mm. into a style. Yes. Anyway. So, oh, we did. So, no, we're uh, not missing the hair dryer. <laughs> we're going we're off not, track now. We're not missing the hair dryer at all because we, we never use one. Mm. What we find is having washed our hair due to some sort of you know magic in the world hair tends to dry if you leave it and that over about two or three hours it will magically dry itself it? yes it does yeah. so that's what i do it's absolute pure magic that's what i think so no hair dryer do we miss the electric kettle? Yes, yes, we I do. do we desperately of. miss it. I miss it. I miss it because I could put the kettle on and go and do other things, and it would switch itself off. But here, if you forget that, not only does it keep making a row, it um, <laughs> falls all over the stove, it's a, it's a and, we're, and we're wasting the gas. So yes, it's I miss the electric it. kettle very, very, very much. So um, I want a gas kettle that switches itself off. <laughs> well, that well, there's a. Any inventors out there? <laughs> that's what we need. Um, and are we missing the microwave? Yes, desperately missing are the we? microwave. I am. I'm not. Because sometimes, if food's not that hot, I like to heat it up. Because I couldn't get buy fish and chips and eat them back in the van because they wouldn't be hot enough for me. Because I've got to have, have to my chips so hot. We'd have to send them back. And also, um, I like it for. I make a lot of jacket potatoes, and I like them in the microwave yeah. and I like scrambled eggs in the microwave as well oh. um, I like scrambled eggs in the frying pan so I am missing the microwave I find it very very convenient and you can right. melt a bit of cheese in there and everything so I would mm. wish we did have a microwave and oh. I also miss very very much my soup maker ah that, yeah didn't ask about that no I miss that and, the, and the active fry I miss I suppose it's lazy cooking because if you've got those things you can put them on and then they turn themselves off. Yeah. Whereas with the so, gas stove we keep forgetting things are on there and then, and then it just 
boils dry or it um, makes a terrible mess. So we go put it on, sit outside. So yes, we do miss those things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, moving on, <laughs> how often do we fill up the water? Now, this question comes at a really good time mm. because we haven't really kept a note of how often we fill up the water. We just fill it up wherever we can mm. um, and just use it, you know. Mm. Um, because we're going on these rallies and because we've been uh, previously to the rallies, we've been on a, mm. on a site where it's easy to fill up and, and mm. so on. Um, well, we haven't really taken a note of how often we need mm. to fill up with water. But what we do know is it's been nine days since we filled up and how much was left when we got here? You said it's a quarter, did you? It was uh, seven days since we filled up. No, we didn't fill up at the last place. It was before we left there, the day before we, we left there. Oh, oh yeah, so it's yeah. nine days. Mm. And then we filled up here, but we had 25% left, yes. it said, mm. on, the, on the gauge. I think the gauges are roughly mm. accurate. And how so much how much water d does it take? It takes 120 litres oh, okay. when it's full. Mm. So I think I think we probably used about 80 litres or 100 litres mm. um, in nine days. So that's about. Mm. So maybe we use 10 litres a day. But the thing is, Steve, don't forget though that. Where we've been, we've had a shower not in the van. No, that's what that, yeah. I was just going to mention. Yes, if, if, if we'd had to shower in here, I now, think it would if have you, last. If you're going to shower every day, every day in the yeah. van, then you're going to need to fill up every couple of days, I mm. reckon. Um, you know. yeah. but, and the thing is, the waste tank needs to be emptied less often than the fresh water needs to be filled up. Now they're not the same size, waste tank is 85 litres, fresh tanks 120, about yeah, so um, not all of the fresh water goes into the waste water and you know that might surprise some of you but when you think about it we're drinking some um, and whatever we drink or you know use for other things then that's not going down the down the drain that's going into us and going to other places like you know if we sweat that's where water goes if we go to the toilet that's where water goes so you don't your hmm. waste tank doesn't fill up now i know when people are on rallies they like to keep their waste tank taps open and keep a little container hmm. underneath the waste tank like a little you know, uh, two litre bucket. Yeah, something yeah like that, they do know, that. A little yes. bucket. Um, so that the waste water, the grey water, goes out into the bucket and they empty that every day. Mm. You know, um, but we uh, haven't got a bucket, so. We haven't got a bucket. We're going to, you know, we're going to probably get a, yeah. a collapsible bucket that, you know, squash it down small and we can pop under there um, yeah. and do that. Okay. At, the, at the moment, we're not parked in a convenient place for it to go into the hedge. We actually park around the other way to the hedge, um, but we'll, you know, when we get back, we'll run the wastewater into the hedgerow. You know, so, but it's it's actually going into and filling up the waste tank at the moment, so that's you know, no problem because it's empty. At the moment. But if um, it did get, we, yeah, if it, yeah, we don't really, no problem, you know, it, it is a, the worst. The most important thing is the Elson. Yeah. You need to keep the, an eye on the, that. The Elson, I'm, I'm probably, I'm pretty confident that we empty that about every three days. Um, I try, I try to remember that every three days, whether it, whether it's full or not. Um, you know, it's not a great idea to, to keep that effluent waste in there for more than that time because the chemical stops working. Yeah after three days. It does it, so it, that's, it that's, does it makes it smell. That's your toilet can real smell real bad if you don't Yeah that, don't. the recommendation is from the the Elson blue mm. toilet chemical is mm. you know charge it up, you know um, it's, mm. I can't remember the exact measurements but about half a litre of water, mm. 75 ml of fluid in that that gets it activated. That then breaks down any bacteria, um, 
or solids that are going in there and then it just empties out as blue liquid that is non-stinky but after three days it can you know that that chemical sort of decomposition stops working and it starts to build up all those sort of bad gases from sewage and most of you will know what that smells like so it's not, not but I great. think if you if you was a family of six it would fill up every day I think it would some people carry a spare one actually they've got yeah. two well we've got a spare one um, we've oh got yes a spare we have one. you're right yeah, yeah we did have to use it once but we've, yeah. we've not you know yeah because we were when we were up in Sweden we couldn't find a place to empty mm. so I just swapped it over mm. and you know and we just dealt with the, with the stink when it came out well I did so anyway um, but, but this is a great time because it you know it, it's um, the 31st of May so yes tomorrow is, we'll 1st keep of June a real good track on all this yeah and what I'm going to do is we've got a completely empty grey waste tank we've got a completely full fresh water tank because we've mm. just literally just filled up um, when we arrived at this rally. We've got a completely empty toilet cassette because uh, that was empty this morning. So we're going to start afresh and pretty much today. Mm. Uh, but we'll, we'll count it from tomorrow. So mm. we'll, we'll, we'll check to see how much we're using and you know how much, because mm. we've got gauges that tell us mm. you know, where the water levels are for the grey and the, and the yeah. fresh. And I will just let you know. When let you know too how much yeah. about the solar and if we're not running out. Because ah. I wanted to tell you something. When we was on the um, somebody that had come with us from the two from um, Brixham, and then we drove not not very far to Exmouth. But when we was at Exmouth, they had to go home because their batteries were flat. Mm. So that I was. Uh, I that, don't think they went home. I think they. they I think they had, had to, to start their engines up to. Well, I don't know. I just thought that's where the, when the lady was saying why so many people have gone, and she said one couple oh. had to go home because they couldn't. Oh, the batteries right. had gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sad. So, the, you but know, this is starting today. We'll know how long now because I can't think when we're ever going to be connected to electric again. Now, mm. one thing when I was talking about the electric and how the, bow, the how the battery power was going, mm. um, I pointed to a gauge on there that mm. said the battery power was at a hundred percent. 98%, 90%, never went below 90%. And I couldn't really understand that because the the voltmeter, the volt gauge next to it, sometimes goes to, mm. goes to below 12 volts. And the I found out something yesterday while I was having a cream tea with another auto trail owner. So um, thanks, Mick. Uh, I don't think you watch, but you might do one day. So thanks, Mick, for telling me this. The um, <laughs> the gauge that's the um, capacity gauge on the battery is user settable. So you can set the starting point for that at any percentage from zero to 100%. And it, I don't I don't well he Mick said to me that he'd spoken to the people at, at Sergeant. The people, the people that make the electric thing, mm -hmm. and they said, yes, we've removed that capacity gauge from the new control panels because they're just too confusing. It doesn't mean anything. I, I, I can't imagine why it's there. It just doesn't mean anything. So what you need to keep an eye on is the voltmeter. Um, now we've got AGM batteries. That's uh, I can't remember what, it's, what it stands for. It's glass matting, um, activated glass matting or something like that. It, so it's a sealed battery. But the good thing about those is that you can discharge those to 80% um, of their capacity rather than 50%. So, when, so they can go down to um, about 10.5 volts before you start to kill them. Because if you take a if you take a normal lead acid battery uh, and discharge it down below eleven and a half volts, 
you, you've damaged the battery. Yeah. You get it down below 12, which is its minimum power. Uh, if you take it down below that mm. to 11 and a half volts or 11, 11.7 volt, you've actually damaged your battery. But these AGM batteries can go down further, and the and the alarm on these on the on the auto trail control panel actually starts to beep when your battery power gets down to 10 volts. Now I think that's probably oh. too low because you will have done some permanent damage. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do a lot more reading up on these uh, batteries, but I'm fairly confident that if I don't go down below 11 volts. I'm going to be absolutely fine. So I'm keeping an eye on it. Over the last couple of weeks, where we've not been plugged into electric, and we've had, yeah, you know, we've used a bit of extra, and we've had, we've not had any sunshine uh, much to talk of. It's got down to 11.7 volts, and then I started to panic a little bit, thinking, oh, I shouldn't go down that far. But you know, when I, when you start to think about it, and you know, I, I think it was the capacity gauge that was confusing me because it said like 90% capacity at 11.7 volts and these things just didn't make sense and now I know why because the capacity thing is useless you know it's actually you know I probably need to speak to sergeant and see where that should be set I have uh, you know we've driven sort of three four hours today so the batteries were fully charged up and I reset the capacity to 100% when I got here so, you know, I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me, I'm thinking that um, that capacity should be set at 100%. When it gets down to 50%, that should be empty. But there you go, we'll see. So that's, so that's um, it for today, really. That's the sort of thing um, that we're, that we're doing, we're, you know, we're, we're on this rally, we're going to another rally uh, in Stratford next. Um, but here at Coventry, we're here during Motorfest. Yeah. So I might get a chance to grab a couple of pictures yes, yes. of those supercars and you know, exotic racing cars and stuff yeah. that go around the streets mm. over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, anyway. we're looking forward to it, yeah. Mm. Good. That's it from us, yep, the happy it. travellers. Yeah. It is time for that thing. Say goodbye, Wend. Say goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. Pippin's <laughs> fast asleep after her walk on the heath. So, goodbye from her as well, I'm <laughs> sure. All right. Thank you for uh, yes. watching, everyone. And if you have, if anyone else has got any questions, just leave them down below and we'll answer them. Keep on asking. Yeah, yeah. Any comments or anything remember, you keep want. Keep them clean. Yeah. <laughs> bye okay. bye, everyone. Thank you Take very care. much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.